Hey guys, so we're going to be talking about the history of transportation for social studies. Um, we are going to be looking at the types of transportation that have been made throughout time. So it's going to be in a timeline format. Remember, a timeline shows events that have happened or events that have occurred in history. Um, and they're in order from what um, they're in order by when they have happened. So we're going to kind of take we're going to be taking a look at the different types of um, transportation we have had. Communities on the move. Transportation did not change much for many decades after the first Europeans came to North America. Those first settlers used carts with wheels, animals, and boats. Early inventors in Europe had also designed very simple hot air balloons and submarines. Leonardo da Vinci designed plans for a human flying machine. After America became an independent country, transportation seemed to get better almost every day. 1769. First self-propelled road vehicle. Many men had tried to design a machine on wheels that would run on its own power. In 1769, a Frenchman named Nicolas Joseph Quinou succeeded. His military tractor had a steam engine to provide power. The machine had three wheels and ran at two and a half miles per hour. Quinou later invented a similar machine that carried passengers. Unfortunately, in 1771, Quinou's machine may have been involved in the first vehicle accident. It crashed into a stone wall when the driver lost control. 1787 Steamboat For many centuries, people traveled by water. Early boats and ships used the wind for power. But in 1787, John Fitch invented a boat powered by steam. He even built one that could carry people. Fitch was proud of his steamboat. Twenty years later, Robert Fulton improved Fitch's design. Fulton's steamboats could travel down the river at an amazing five miles per hour. Soon, steamboats were moving crops, supplies, and people to communities along the river. Many new communities began along the Mississippi and other rivers thanks to steamboats. 1790. Modern Bicycles Several wooden bicycle machines had been invented before 1790. The rider pushed with his feet to move the machine. French carriage maker Ernest Michou invented the modern bicycle in 1790. His design included the pedals and cranks similar to those found on today's bikes. 1814. First steam engine for locomotives. 20-year-old George Stevenson built the first steam engine for a locomotive completely by hand in 1814. It was the first steam-powered locomotive engine to run on a railroad track. The machine did very well. It pulled 30 tons of coal uphill at 4 miles per hour. Stevenson later built the first public railways in his home country, England. 1885 First modern automobile. Carl Benz of Germany invented a gas-powered car in 1885. The car was known as the Benz three-wheeler. Soon, Benz was producing cars for people to buy. His gas-powered engine made it possible for people to have their own powerful transportation machines. 1903. First airplane. Orville and Wilbur Wright invented the first airplane. The brothers' first inspiration came from watching birds fly. They tried many designs. Some worked better than others. They continued working on their designs. Finally, in 1903, their airplane flew for 12 seconds. Today, thousands of planes are in the sky over Earth every day. 1908. Automobile Assembly Line Henry Ford designed motor cars and built them one at a time. He wanted ordinary people to be able to buy an automobile. 
He wanted to make cars that did not cost a lot of money. He thought the best way to do this was to change the way they were made. Ford set up an assembly line to make it faster and easier to build his Model T. His idea changed the way automobiles and many other things were made. Soon, many more families in America were able to afford a car. 1940 Modern Helicopter In the 1400s, Leonardo da Vinci designed a helicopter. Throughout the years, many other men designed a flying machine with rotating blades. In 1940, a man from Russia named Igor Sikorsky invented a helicopter that was successful at staying in the air. His work helped other people invent different types of helicopters. Military units from many countries use helicopters today. They can fly in any direction. Some can even take off from and land on water. 1969. Man goes to the moon. The United States worked for many years to send a manned spaceship to the moon. Scientists and astronauts studied the moon and how to get there from here. Many people worked for years on the project. Finally, on July 20th, 1969, the Apollo 11 lunar module landed on the moon. Astronaut Neil Armstrong was the first person ever to walk on the moon. 1981, Space Shuttle Launched Scientists wanted to study other parts of outer space, too. They wanted to know if people could live in outer space. They developed a special kind of spaceship called a shuttle. The space shuttle lifted off like a rocket, but landed like an airplane. Scientists on space shuttles performed many experiments. They tried to find out what it would be like to live in space. They helped us learn more about our solar system.